Hey gang, on the way out to Jekyll Island, Georgia to do a little hiking with my daughter, Lila Isabel, my co-host in the back. Uh, however, this is not a show about hiking with your daughter. Think of it more of a video chronicles of the many adventures in my life. I'm your host, Chris Cottrell, co-host Lila Isabel, and this is The Dabbler's Den. Jekyll Island to, to do a little hiking. We're not going to be out for very long today. Um, Lila's mommy went to uh, went to town, and uh, we had a couple hours to burn. So we uh, she got it from her nap, ready to ready to go. So um, we're on our way out there now. Probably hike for about an hour or so. Um, maybe maybe just go to the beach. Maybe walk up and down the beach for a little bit. Um, I've got a little backpack carrier that I like to carry her in. Uh, I bought it secondhand. It's it's not a very well, you know. To be honest, I don't know if it's very good or not. You know, it's my only experience with with a baby backpack carrier. Um, but it's it's worked fine for us. I've packed a little little bag, a little mermaid bag for my daughter, and we're gonna uh, use a carabiner and strap it on. So we're gonna be out there for about an hour or two, burn some energy, get out, get out. Side. It's a it's a beautiful day. It's it's so un, unseasonable right now though. We're we're in the end of January. I'm sorry. We're at the end of December. Uh, a few days away from January. Almost a new year. Almost 2016. And uh, we're we're looking at 80 almost 85 degree temperatures uh, here in South Georgia. Uh, it's been very unseasonable. Uh, lots of lots of warmer than average weather for sure. Uh, mosquitoes have been terrible. Hopefully we don't have a problem with that today. Uh, maybe another reason why we should go out to the to the beach. Uh, but I don't know if you can hear or not. Lila Bell is back there. She's ready to go. Um, so hopefully next time I see you, we will be we'll be loading up, getting ready to go on our hike. See you in a bit. So this is the little carrier that we're going to be toting around Lila in. Uh, again, I bought this secondhand. I bought it used. Uh, I, I believe it's missing a few things. Uh, there's some zippers here that I'm not exactly sure uh, what went to. I'm, I'm a, pretty sure it was probably some kind of pack, some kind of diaper bag to put on there. But uh, anyways, yeah, she just goes right in there. Uh, we'll strap it up to my back and we will be on our way here. Just a second. <laughs> all right, here we go. Got Lila Bell all strapped in, ready to go. Back here, I uh, um, she got a, a princess uh, mermaid bag from SeaWorld from her aunt and uncle for Christmas, and uh, it was a perfect size. Used a little carabiner to, to lock it on, so she's got a couple diapers in there, uh, you know, some milk and some water, you know, rations in case we are out longer than we expect to be. So here we are. There's Lila Bell. It's a better better view of Lila Bell. She's ready to go. Got a pacifier out, which we'll try to wean her off of that at some point. But uh, for right now, it makes her makes her happy, so we're all good. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and get strapped up and, and let's go. <laughs> all right, you ready to go, Lila? All right, again, this is my first time using a uh, selfie stick for filming. Uh, it's actually one of my first times filming ever, so this is all new to me. Um, I decided to, I don't know if you can see back there, but I decided to uh, park over here by the soccer fields on Jekyll Island. Uh, one of the benefits of 
spending so much time out here over the years is you you learn little secrets uh, on how to avoid crowds I guess there's a big bluegrass festival here this weekend which would be pretty awesome to go to anyways um, however that's not what we're doing so we uh, going on a little hike and uh, I decided to park over here by the soccer fields and cut across uh, the 4-H center has its own boardwalk to the to the ocean and so that's where we're gonna go see if that's open and uh, see if we can walk across to the beach from there I will say that the uh, the bag that I strapped to the back uh, is rather uncomfortable it doesn't it's bouncing around and it makes me think that Lila's bobbing around quite a bit and she might be Lila you okay Looks like she's doing good. So uh, that's where we are now. I'll check back in with him, check back in with you here in just a minute. Well, that path was a fail. Looks like they're uh, doing construction over there in the 4-H center. Uh, we got it blocked off pretty good. So <laughs> we are on our way back up to where we saw all those cars and uh, try to cut across to get to the beach that way. And uh, we'll see what it looks like over there. So that was nice. Uh, beach is beautiful today. We uh, we didn't spend too much time out there. We kind of walked around a little bit, looked at the looked at the seagulls. Hey, you tired? Oh, little girl's been tired. Her, she's been teething like crazy. Uh, anyway, so we're heading back to the truck now. Um, the pack in the back is a terrible idea. Thought it'd be a good idea, um, but it's just. It adds a little extra weight to the very back, which is putting a strain on my shoulders. And uh, it's swinging around, uh, which is throwing me a little bit off balance. And it's uh, hitting the back of the back of the seat where Lyle is at. I don't know if you can see it swinging around. So anyways, we're gonna go ditch that. And uh, we'll just, we'll keep our hike short and uh, head back to the truck to make sure that we're hydrated. And if we have to, do any changing or anything like that, we'll do it back in the truck. Lala, what you up to? You having fun? Yeah? All right, well, let's go on to, let's go on to the next spot. So we're down here uh, in the St. Andrews Sound area, or the St. Andrews Park area. Um, lots of people on the island today. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with the Blues Festival uh, here, here on the island, or just being, or just being a uh, you know a holiday weekend. It is the day before New Year's. A lot of people still on Christmas break, um, but yeah, a lot of people on the island today. I mentioned before I'm kind of an introvert, so the fewer people the better, it makes me happy. gazebo up here. Um, Lila and I came and did this hike a couple weeks ago and uh, had a great time. I got some some really good photos that I'll include. I'll insert right here. Thank you. 
Beautiful, beautiful spot. We were out here one day fishing right off, right off the bank here. And uh, there was a uh, shrimp boat sitting right there. And uh, we were just chilling out watching the shrimp boat and all of a sudden a guy in full scuba gear uh, came walking out of the water. <laughs> it was quite the sight to see. He just came walking right out like it was like it was a normal business day, which I guess it was for him. He was uh, fixing a prop. They had something wrapped around their prop. Uh, so I don't know how much that service costs, but I'm sure it's, it's a good pretty penny. Hey, baby. So yeah, we're making our way through a through a, tra a trail uh, used by both people and deer. There's lots of deer track here. I'm trying to be real quiet. We might actually come across one. You want to see a deer? You want to see a deer? Here's an obstacle. We gotta crawl under this tree to get the other side. Oh, it's in there. All right, we're at the, uh, the infamous tree swing of Jekyll Island. Not too many people know about this. There's the swing itself, and most people launch off of that tree up there. Let's go check it out. <laughs> yep, there's the tree swing. So what do you think, Lila? Should we uh, take it for a spin? Hmm? Crawl up there and, and launch? Yeah. She's game. Let's do it. Well, Lila, was that fun? Heading back to the truck now. It's hot, so humid still. Can't believe it's almost January. Anyways, we're gonna head out now. Say bye. Bye, baby. <laughs> so we're about to pack it up. Like I said, it's hot. We're about to pack it up and uh, head back to the house. Lila's got a, uh, a cold milk in mind. <laughs> I know. Daddy's got a cold, cold drink in mind too. Uh, bye bye. All right guys, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in, bye. Thank you for watching this snapshot of one of my life's many adventures. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, feel free to share it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This channel is a work in progress, so I would appreciate constructive feedback and suggestions in the comments below. Once again, I'm Chris Cottrell. You've been watching The Dabbler's Den. And bottom line YouTubers, just get out there and do something.